We'll start with the electronic unit pumps. This system has been adapted to the E7 engine to achieve optimum performance, simplified service, and more effective engine diagnostics. An electronic unit pump, EUP, is a single plunger fuel injection pump, one per cylinder, which is driven by a third lobe on the engine camshaft. The motion from the cam is transferred through a roller at the base of the EUP to provide the effective stroke of the plunger. This type of system can provide very high pressure and efficient fuel delivery. The release of the fuel pressure to the nozzle is controlled by a high-speed solenoid valve responding to electronic signals from the VMAC-3 engine control module. This VMAC control provides a much greater timing range for the best combustion pressure for the engine. This technology gives greater performance, fuel economy, and cleaner emissions. Looking closer at the pump plunger, you can see the helix is gone and fuel delivery is strictly controlled by the solenoid valve. To start fuel delivery, the VMAC-3 control system allows current to flow to the solenoid valve, closing it and trapping the fuel in the pump. As the plunger continues to move upward, Fuel is delivered through the high pressure line to the nozzle assembly in the cylinder head. When VMAX stops current flow to the solenoid, the valve opens and fuel in the pump then flows through the cylinder block fuel return gallery and back to the fuel tank. Next we will look at service procedures for the removal and installation of the unit pump. First, remove the heat shields and clean debris off the engine to prevent dirt from entering the bores when the EUP assembly is removed. Next, the fuel must be drained from two areas of the filter system, whether it is the manifold mount or remote mounted fuel filters. Place a drain pan beneath the right side of the engine and remove the fuel outlet fitting from the cylinder block fuel return gallery located above the compressor. Blowing compressed air from the fuel line to the gallery will assist in thoroughly draining the fuel from the internal passages. You must drain the block gallery to avoid fuel spillage into the crankcase on EUP removal. Now that the fuel is drained, remove the injection tube at the EUP and cylinder head. The wire terminals from the EUP and the inboard pump mounting screw. Loosen the outboard screw and back it out one half inch or 20 millimeters. Do not completely remove. Insert a pry bar under the bolt bosses in this area and pry gently until the EUP comes out against the screw head. Caution, depending on cam lobe position, the EUP may have preload from spring tension. Never remove both screws and pry. This could cause injury. Remove the outboard screw and remove the EUP. Then place it on a clean, dry surface. Remove the roller tappet. Do not use tools to remove it, as it could damage the bore. Looking in the bore, you can see the roller tappet guide pin. This is installed at the factory and should not be tampered with. Next, we'll look at installation of the pump. Use only a soft rag and solvent to clean the block area. Rotate the cam to base circle on the EUP lobe. This will give the least compression of the pump spring. Generously lube the roller tappet with clean engine oil. Then position the tappet roller slot facing outward to align with the pin in the block. The roller tappet should slide in smoothly without binding. Install three new O-rings on the center grooves of the EUP. Note, the brown O-ring goes in the center. Lightly lubricate the O-rings with clean engine oil and install the EUP into the engine. Next, place both screws in the EUP and draw down evenly. Torque to specifications. Install the wire terminals. Now install the fuel line and torque to spec. All fuel lines for the ETEC are identical, 
but are designed especially for EUP high fuel pressure and should not be used on other E7 engines. 